Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about acute coryza or the common cold. It is a vaguely defined condition referring to a viral or bacterial acute infection affecting the nose, including the sinuses, the throat and the bronchi. It is in around 30 to 80% caused by the rhinovirus, depending on the area, and 15% of the infections make up the coronavirus, the influenza viruses and adenoviruses. And often there is more than one causative agent found. It occurs more frequently in children, up to 6 to 10 times a year, and in adults a little bit less, usually around 2 to 3 times per year, often when the seasons change and it's getting colder or it's getting warmer again. And the elderly or immune compromised patients are more often infected than healthy adult people. The transmission is usually via droplets, direct contact with secretions or contaminated objects or fomites. This leads them to different local and systemic effects. The systemic effects are headache, fever, fatigue, malaise, and the local effects are vasodilation and edema in the nose and local pain. So all this together leads to the common symptoms of headache, fever, fatigue, malaise, no nasal congestion, sinus pain, increased secretions, and um, all yeah, systemic symptoms. The diagnosis of the common cold is usually done by the anamnesis and the general examination. So the symptoms, the onset of those and their duration, which season it is, they are most common from around November to February. And um, also there can be done a culture for determination of the agent. Treatment, since it's often a viral infection, is mostly symptomatic. So a patient can receive analgesics for the pain and antipyretics for the fever. This can be done concomitantly in the use of NSAIDs. Also antihistamines is possible and nasal decongestants like xylometasolino sprays, for example. The prognosis is quite good. It's usually self-limiting. So bed rest and increased fluid uptake might already do the job. And symptoms are usually relatively mild, up to one week. And in elderly and comorbid patients, complications can occur or the infection might just last longer than in younger or more healthy people. Complications include otitis media, sinusitis, even asthma, strep throat, pneumonia, and for children, also croup and bronchiolitis. This was a short overview over the common cold. I hope it was helpful. I think everyone experienced the common cold before, so you probably have an idea yourself. Um, I would be very happy if you would subscribe, and that's it for this video.